Hey, how's it going? It's Peter from the Film Scoring Department. Today I'm doing a really quick demo to show you how to get started in Action Strikes from Native Instruments. I'm going to work in Pro Tools today because I, I'm doing this on an email request from someone who works in Pro Tools. Uh, Action Strikes works inside of the Native Instruments contact player, which works in virtually any DAW, and it works in standalone. Today I'll work in Pro Tools. Uh, I'm using Pro Tools version 12.8. I'm using contact version 5.6.8. Uh, this works in earlier versions. You should be able to follow along. There's no major differences in feature from older recent versions. All right, you should be looking at the edit window in Pro Tools. If you're not seeing the edit window, if you're seeing the mix window, hit command equal and it'll toggle you back and forth between those two. Here's the edit window. I'm going to create a new instrument track. I'll use the shortcut Command Shift N. You can also go to the track menu and locate new track. Let's make this stereo. Let's make this instrument track. And hit the create button. Makes a new track here. This is short. I'm going to you can hover and pull down to make it big if you want to get a good view of it. Uh, if you look over here on the left side of your screen, look at the beginning of that track. That's called the track header. And then above here, this little rectangular white uh, columnized thing, that's a selector to choose what you can view in the track header. Um, I'm going to choose inserts, A-E, which this will allow me to insert a contact player in here. Click on one of the inserts, choose multi-channel plugin, choose instrument, choose contact 5. If you have this installed on your computer, it's available in the list, and you should see something like this. Um, your, your contact player might look a little different than this. For example, um, if you here's where you control the view. You might have the outputs visible. See that little mixer there that allows for discrete outputs of multiple instruments in the contact player. Uh, you might not have the browser visible. It might look like this, skinnier version with no instruments available, but you want the browser. If you have Action Strikes installed, it's here in the browser somewhere in this list. It might be in a different order than mine. Uh, there's an Instruments button there. If you click on that, you can see that Action Strikes comes with three different instruments. The Ensemble, the Hits, and the Instrument. The middle one, the hits, is the most simple thing you can imagine. That one is just, it's like a drum kit with a single drum mapped out to each key. The, the Action Strikes instrument is the one that I'm going to show you today. It has some of those single hits, but then it also has um, some loops available, all geared around a specific ensemble or instrument. The Action Strikes ensemble is sort of a more sophisticated version of the Action Strikes instrument. If you want to read in depth in these, look for this little triangle. Click there and you'll see that the manual pops right up out of this window. It's actually a very good manual. It's short, it's concise, easy to read, and makes very clear the differences between these three, the, the ensemble, the hits, and the instrument. It's a, I recommend taking a look at it. It's a short, easy manual, and that's where you find it. For now, I'll drag in the Action Strikes instrument into the play area. And we'll get a little look at the, what's happening here in the window. Uh, you should be able to arm the track right away and just, you know, find some keys and play some things. If I play a C here, I can get a single Tycho hit. Uh, or a little roll. Or even some looped patterns. Contact player instruments have an output that routes the output of this instrument down to a channel in this mixer below here. You can have more than one instrument in a contact player and more than one channel for discrete routing. I'll leave that where it is now. The thing below it allows you to choose a specific MIDI channel from which notes, incoming notes come in. 
Over here on the top right of the Action Strikes instrument, you can see I think it says uh, the name of the ensemble that's playing right now. And if you click on it, it brings up a list of everything that's available that ships with Action Strikes. A bunch of different like big cinematic taiko drum and low drum ensembles and some middle and high stuff too, which you can filter out by clicking these buttons at the top. It shortens the list and filters. For, for example, now just the middle uh, items. Here's the high ones. And I can filter this further by just choosing single instruments or ensemble ones. And the list is quite short as far as high section ensembles. If I click on anything in any list, it auditions it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to uh, Tycho, huge ensemble, and hit the checkbox so that it saves what I did. Uh, if you want to audition everything that's in there, you can use these left and right buttons here to just toggle through everything. At the bottom there's a uh, two tabs, the playback and effects tabs. Uh, the playback one has two different trigger modes. The phrase sync keeps everything synced to the beat of your DAW, which is the default normal way to work. And the free trigger one gives you a lot more freedom to start phrases uh, offset from the actual beats in the DAW. Uh, there's a swing control. And you can have or double the tempo. For all kinds of possibilities. This indicates what key you're playing. In case you have no idea what key you're playing, and you really want to know. Uh, the magnifying glass here takes you to the same place that this list of instruments does. Just pops it up, exact same thing. And these arrows here toggle through the same list the way that these arrows here do. Here's a reverb control. It's shut off by default. There's a lot of roominess in the samples anyway. This uh, info button brings up a map of what keys do what. The ye two yellow ones at the bottom are single hits. And there's a bunch of uh, rolls and flams. And then here are all the loops. Uh, here's some accent rhythm loops. And if you use the pitch wheel in conjunction with the accented loops, you can get some very musical expression. Mod wheel adjusts the dynamics overall. There's another tab here for effects and it's pretty self-explanatory. Recording's fairly straightforward too. You arm a track in the DAW, Put your DAW in record and play notes. Everything you play is synchronized to the DAW.